In case you haven't exactly had your finger on the pulse, the world ISNT doing so great. California is on fire, Vegas is in mourning, and Puerto Rico is without power. People who voted for the president are no longer speaking to the people DIDNT and in distant lands the targeting chips on nuclear warheads are the being dialed in while world leaders hurl schoolyard insults from the UN pulpit. Suffice to say, it's a scary time to get out of bed in the morning, but thankfully Fox News have found the root of our global ash radio radiohead. It all began a week ago, when Kat Timpf, not a typo, joined the Greg Goodfeld show to discuss 2018's eligible Rock and Roll Hall of Fame nominees, using a self-deprecating tirade on her taste in men, strange, malnourished, and sad, she says, as a springboard to characterize the seminal Oxford art rockers as wait for it elaborate moaning and whining over ringtone sounds. Mic drop. The internet, which we all know began as a Radiohead fanboy chatroom, predictably exploded the president, as if acting out some tragic, scrapped Seinfeld script, started arguing with a woman in a cowboy hat about whether his condolences to a dead soldier's family counted in the world, distracted by their check engine lights, moved on. On Tuesday, however, Timph's skeptical probing bloomed into a beautiful, full-fledged conspiracy theory, with Gutfeld himself taking to national TV to revisit the most pressing issue facing human civilization today. You know, Radiohead is a fine band but they stole everything from Coldplay, like Radiohead is the poor month's Coldplay. Witness the watershed revelation at 3,610 Hopefully obvious sarcasm aside, the real question here is a simple one Why Radiohead a British band with a grandfather Aiden fanbase whose last relevant album was released over a decade ago Don't at me, King of Limbs weirdos, Radiohead have had little to no bearing on American politics in their revered 32-year run as the kings of elaborate moaning and whining over ringtone sounds. So why is this the hill Fox News want to die on right now? Well, there are three answers to that question 1. Clicks when tie-ins ratings. Needless to say, the Greg Gutfeld show had a far better engagement week than it would have if it hadn't called Muse the thinking mons radiohead or whatever the hell they said. Here in the Pro Internet League, we call that trolling point too. Remember when Tom York called Donald Trump, and I quote, AAF King Clown for leaving the Paris Agreement this summer well, so does Fox News point three. They're simply furthering our current nationwide rejection of intellectualism, or, at least, the elitism commonly associated with or misidentified as intellectualism. Of the three, the latter is perhaps the most interesting. In the mainstream music zeitgeist, no band has been more widely and readily associated with soft-handed philosophy majors parading around New England liberal arts institutions minding their pronouns than Radiohead. Just listen to Tim's sad tales about her sex life. Shall tell you, many 18 to 35 year old cough loving men and women adore Radiohead in the same way their fathers did Pink Floyd. Many more simply pretend to, because, well, the artifice of intellectualism is alluring for 18 to 35 year old cough loving men desperately trying to sleep with 18 to 35 year old Radiohead adoring women. This, not necessarily Radiohead, but the cult of Radiohead, is what Fox News is railing against. And to a certain extent, they have a point. Radiohead can be grating. Their fans can be even worse. Tom York's falsetto ISNT even all that good bring on the death threats. But stay in your lane. You don't hear us over here saying Leonard Skinner is reductive burping and farting over the sound. Of your pickup turning over. We aren't sitting here calling Ted Nugent the snowflakes George Thorogood. We would never do such a thing. So let's back off Radiohead, shall we, and focus on some of the more important issues facing America, like, I don't know, why Blade Runner 2049 bombed or something. Watch more videos from The Loop.